and one pizza people always loved was our barbecue chicken pizza. Now it's so simple to make that you can make it at home. All right, CPK barbecue chicken pizza at home, just like he said. We're going to start off by making what they call a poolish, which is a small starter of your pizza dough. 50 grams flour, 50 grams warm water, and a pinch of yeast. You're going to mix it up real well, put the cover on it, and let that sit on your counter for 24 hours. And it'll work its magic. After 24 hours, we'll come back and make our dough. All right. It's just about 24 hours later. We're going to work on our pizza dough now. So we're going to need one cup of warm water, one packet of instant yeast, and about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. And we'll mix that up, set it to the side, and let that start to work. Meanwhile, we'll need two and a quarter cups of bread flour. Put that in a bowl with about a teaspoon and a half of sugar, teaspoon and a half of salt. And we'll get that on a mixer with our dough hook, get that started. Then we're going to add about three tablespoons of good extra virgin olive oil. And we're going to add our poolish now to this mixture. And we'll get all that mixed up and we'll let the mixer do its thing for about six to seven minutes. And while that's working, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the channel and hit that bell to stay up to date on newest recipes. I really appreciate it. And you're going to know as your machine is making the dough if you need to add a little water or you may need to add a little more flour. But you want that bowl, that bowl, that ball of dough not to be too sticky or tacky. And when it starts to pull away from the inside of the bowl, kind of like you see there, you're pretty much spot on. So we'll take that dough out, we'll throw some flour on the countertop, and we'll knead it by hand for about two, three minutes. And then we're gonna form it into a nice dough ball, and then we'll take a mixing bowl, spray it with some olive oil or Pam, put our dough in there, and get it nice and covered and then we'll cover it with cellophane and a kitchen towel and my oven has a proof temperature if you don't have that just leave it out on your counter for at least an hour because you want this dough to double in size so we'll get it covered up and we'll get that in the oven and we'll hang out for about an hour hour and a half and this is what you're looking for. Nice big ball now. So we'll take that out and we'll cut that in half and we can make two pizzas. So we'll oil our cast iron and with one of the dough balls that we cut in half, we'll spread it out nice, paint it with some olive oil, and then we're gonna add your favorite barbecue sauce. And with the brush, we'll spread that out nice and even. And I've got about half of a red onion that I sliced nice and thin. We're going to add the red onion first. Then we're going to add our whole milk mozzarella cheese. Out here on the West Coast, I like to use Sargento. But make sure it's whole milk. Next, we're going to add some arugula. The original recipe called for uh, cilantro. I'm not a fan of cilantro. I like the arugula. I think it adds a nuttier taste to the pizza. So I'm using arugula. If you want to stick to the original, use cilantro. I diced up and sauteed one chicken breast, which I'm adding now. Okay, we got all that pizza made. I put it on a medium flame for about two and a half to three minutes. That way the bottom of that crust gets a head start. My oven is preheated to 500 degrees. After a few minutes on the flame, we throw it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. 
And there you have a CPK barbecue chicken pizza. Enjoy and come back soon for more recipes. Thank you.